Hello and welcome to the Fighter Factory tutorial by Euros Jovanovic. I'll be telling you how to create your own character in Mugen with Fighter Factory program. Now let's start by clicking File, Templates, Elect by Player. Now that generates for you the beginning animations that will be that will already be ordered so you don't have to think about that because that takes really long the constants with the basic uh, of your character's data and the uh, basic movements and few punches and kicks and the commands to command your character like again the few punches or kicks and the basic movements but it does not generate a sound so you have to think about that as you're testing your character because that wouldn't work anyway and it generates the first 65 sprites but I'll talk to you that by later on now you have to name your your character wherever you want to name him I'll, I'll make a sonic character during this tutorial so I'll type in character in the name and character name everyone knows that the pilot order you have to name it 1, 2, 3 and 4 because if you don't then your palette won't work in order and your colors will go messy and mugen and anyway now you type in you see this sff file name you have to type in your character's name dot sff and now you do this for each of these so dot s and d you have to do dot after your character's name and this one then this one and then this one and for each of them and do them like I'm doing it now because this will link up all your files to Mugen uh, so you, your character can run properly because if you don't then your character wouldn't run properly and your f character wouldn't work now after you do that leave the common one and leave the player.act the player.act dot .act is a, fa uh, is a palette so you can you can either leave it but I'd rather just put Sonic dot act, and then you and then after when you checked everything is done, you click save all. Now, this this is a tricky bit. You have to save it under one folder and only one folder all of your files. Otherwise, you it wouldn't work. So you find a folder, any folder in your computer. You create a new folder called your character's name. You have to make it or you have to match your definitions files and they will have to be under one name so just put sonic or whatever you want to call it then you click save then you go on the next one you click shared palette you click ok now you save you save it under all the same names and the same folder you have to be careful it sometimes goes out of place but for me it didn't and anyway that's the beginning of the definitions files now you go on the sprite files and as you can see you got 65 unnecessary files you keep the first two because that's required but the next cup the next cup 65 you just delete you just press delete and enter click and enter several times like I'm doing now do as fast as you can see the numbers decreasing slowly obviously you click it faster than me but it doesn't matter now after you did that now you go into the palette menu this is important now you open up an image that has uh, quite a lot of the uh, colors you will use in your future sprite files so you go to your folder you go to you go to your folder where you saved your sprites. I saved them under here because I already completed the one supersonic character, but I'll just use it because it looks quite cool in this in this tutorial. Now you just go across your sprites. You try to find which one's the one. Now use the sparks one. Now you click optimize. This is important. Now you zoom in and you click the background image color as you can see there you transfer to the bottom right on the next side you click transfer your one will probably be back or whatever mine is white so I'll have to transfer it anyway now you transfer each of these color in order to this side but there's an easier way you hold control 
and you keep on clicking on each on each color until they're all highlighted like so then you click this one so they're they're highlighted now you click transfer colors as you can see they are in order and the background image is there after you did that you click add you go to very similar color color ra variation. So you have to find very similar colors, the sparks. You you can do other ones like this one because it's got very similar colors. But I'll just use some sparks, some full sprite sparks. Yeah, you click open. You click you use the same name of images, and you click apply on palette. Now you go back to your folder like so you go back to it and you save it under anything I use zeros for each palette but you can do whatever you want it won't really matter you just click save it saves now you save the actual palette under the same folder everything in one folder you call it whatever you want and you save it now you memorize what you called your palette you go back to your definitions file as you can see it's empty so now you type in what you saved the act as and you cl click dot act I saved all as sonic so I don't get confused in the future now I click save all and now all, now my one of my palettes is ready I click close file open recent sonic dot def and now whoops I haven't saved it dot act now you click save and save all close file open character now you go back to your sonic.dev and there it is it should be there and your palette should be ready now you now this is how you insert the sprites you click add after after you did the palettes that's you probably have a lot more palettes than me but you just click sonic you you import it from your own folder if you don't do this with the palette your character f sprites will not work after you imported them as you can see they're there to test if they're working you click add to transparency the, the background colors should go off and your first couple of sprites should be imported correctly this is the first part of the Nugen ultimate tutorial and the second part you have to figure out the next part. This is Euro Chiranovich. Goodbye.